I think there are very specific things. Uh, for example, we looked at the cost of getting it wrong. And um, there are, again, some obvious things, like if you get a stoppage because there is social unrest, you will lose production and that kind of thing. If you have a delay because you have some environmental damage or you have you are not engaging with communities well, then you don't get your permits. But there are there are other things related with quantifying uh, the 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 or getting quantifying the consequences of getting it wrong, uh, and um, and also trying to quantify the more naive approaches like the the usual CSR kind of uh, approach to this. Um, and what we have found is that it's incredibly expensive to follow the CSR route and very it's not effective in any f shape or form but it's very attractive from a comms and political point of view so if you have a CSR agenda it's very simple to explain it's very easy to take a picture and politicians many ways many times will love it if you go to a more robust approach uh, it's difficult to quantify it's difficult to sell because it's technical and so having research that, that supports your point and that allows you to to explain it in a succinct way but robust way will certainly help a lot so i mean i guess i guess there's a big thing you, it, it's quite easy to slip into a main focus on um, the economic aspects of poverty if you're talking about business because obviously the core um, contribution they can make is the creation of jobs and wealth and payment of taxes for um, governments to use to deliver public services but actually, if you look at um, what poverty is, it's got many other aspects than just an economic, um, the economic, economic aspect. So you're looking at issues of power, including power in markets. If you're talking about wanting to include the most marginalised people, about women's economic empowerment, then there are a whole host of other non-economic issues you also need to address. And you st very soon start to... Um, recognise you need to be looking at a whole system that surrounds the market. So that's the role of governments, regulation, standards that companies can apply to ensure that they're not doing harm. Um, you need to look beyond just the number of jobs that are created to the quality of those jobs, the levels of wages that are being paid, because we often find through research, and IDS um, may find more of this as it does more um, business and development research, companies are often paying poverty wages way below what we'd consider to be a living wage. And, um, and if we really want um, the private sector to be contributing to poverty reduction, these are the kinds of really sticky, um, intransigent issues that are not easy to tackle and where often it's much harder to make a clear-cut business case to be addressing them. But they're really, really vital to really tackle, tackle poverty reduction. Uh, so one of the things I was talking about, which I think is really under-researched, uh, if, if researched at all, is this whole notion of internal drivers. Uh, and so it's something that I've noticed in a lot of, uh, anecdotally, in a lot of Indian companies and a lot of European companies. In fact, it's completely uh, not present in the Anglo-Saxon world. So that's my hypothesis. I'm not a research researcher, so just an off the bat comment. Uh, so I'm just wondering whether that is something worth looking at it because I think the behavior is very different. What happens with companies with, which are internally driven is that they do that uh, independent of what is happening in the outside world because that is something core, that is who they are. Uh, now, how, how do you make, how do you help companies get to that place? Because it's a journey. Uh, so I think that becomes an interesting question because from a business and development uh, uh, point of view, if you have more and more companies there, then then it's very easy to get this alignment that we've been talking about. So how do we help companies transit to that point? To me, that's, that's an interesting part about it. Because if you don't transit, if you still remain within the external driver space, then you're always going to be reacting. And then it depends on what you're reacting to. So that's that's an that's the space that I've I've actually tried to this is a piece that has been in my head for years and I've been trying to look at research on this and I've actually not found anything of it. So maybe this is something to look at.